Good morning guys, this is Mike Padawan, we're back to our latest update. This is now the uh, analysis for this early morning of Tuesday, July 11 until Thursday, July 13, 2023. And this is our English version, brought to you by Typhoon 2000, in partnership with uh, Naga College Foundation, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands, Avenue Plaza Hotel, the local government of Naga City, headed by Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion and Honorable Congressman Gabi Bordado of the 3rd District of Camarines Sur. So, we are monitoring a broad low pressure center or low pressure area which formed during uh, the weekend. Actually, yesterday, Sunday, during our day off, this LPA has developed. Uh, a cloudless system but it's starting to uh, to increase in organization and it's currently 890 kilometers east of Borongan Eastern Summer 11.5 north latitude 133.6 east longitude and it's 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 still uh, quite disorganized but slowly in the next uh, 24 to 48 hours it could uh, become an active LPA now the computer models are still uh, not uh, keen. I mean, the probability remains around 50 to 60 percent of becoming a tropical cyclone. But we are going to observe this system within uh, the next uh, two days. So here's now the uh, graph sat that we created uh, late uh, last night, 11 p.m. And here you go. Actually, there are two LPA. The other one is 96W. We don't care about that system as of this time since it's so weak and it could dissipate. And we are all eyes on this system because this is uh, the one that could bring heavy rainfall across Visayas, Bicol, and uh, Luzon within the next 48 to 72 hours, probably uh, of uh, Wednesday through Friday, we could experience um, morning, afternoon, and evening scattered rain showers and thunderstorms, particularly over the big region and uh, Luzon. Uh, right now, we have a monsoon trough being some thunderstorms as of this evening across uh, Visayas and also across uh, Mindanao, extending across uh, Mimaropa and over to the West Philippine Sea. So uh, this is now the uh, system that we are going to observe this week. Uh, remember, it's been uh, more than three weeks since the last uh, tropical cyclone, uh, Chideng. And uh, nature are sometimes like that. When we have a long time without uh, tropical cyclone development, it will uh, bounce back with one. Will It will bounce back not with one or two or even three tropical cyclones back to back so we hope and pray that will not happen but the computer models are showing a back to back system but so far this is now the uh, concern that we are going to uh, focus our attention to within the next three days so for the uh, fast animation here we go the uh, circulation is uh, uh, showing a, a kind of a monsoon depression, meaning when you say that monsoon depression, the uh, strong winds are located along the periphery as the tropical cyclone develops here. Okay, so, so far it's still uh, a low pressure system with a slight characteristics of a monsoon depression, but we are uh, go, going to observe this closely on what will be the outcome of this system but uh, uh, just what I said probably uh, Wednesday until Friday we could experience some heavy uh, rainfall either in the morning or in the afternoon or evening so uh, watch out for that and here's the uh, Zoom in satellite animation. This is the uh, night vision image of the uh, visible uh, imagery from windy.com, courtesy of UMETSAT. So uh, we place the system. It's currently uh, exposed. When we say exposed, 
it's devoid of any uh, thick cloudiness, but as of the, the past three hours, it's starting to develop. You can clearly see here some patches of uh, thunderstorms developing near the center. The center is somewhere here, okay, and it's moving towards the west, northwest. So we, you can already witness some rains and thunderstorms across Visayas and Mindanao. Not much yet across Bicol region, but in the next uh, couple of days, we expect thunderstorms to return across Bicol in a wide area. Okay. Here's the uh, uh, zoom-in satellite. Now let's take a look at the uh, wind and pressure forecast from the European model from windy.com by uh, to by this afternoon Tuesday the LPA is likely to to the east of the Bicol region ex expected to accelerate towards the west northwest and on Wednesday afternoon it will be over the coastal waters of northern Bicol region uh, roughly 200 kilometers north of Catanduanes and it could become an active LPA 1004 millibars and uh, you can uh, he see here the enhancement of the southwest monsoon across Mimaropa and Visayas so watch out for possible flooding in low-lying er er in low-lying areas as well as landslides when we have severe thunderstorms and uh, on Wednesday after and on Thursday afternoon, that LPA will remain, uh, uh, that LPA will start to move at a very slow pace towards uh, Luzon. So we expect on enough rainfall to uh, prevail across the Bicol region, Wednesday through Thursday and Friday, July 14. The system will uh, reorient to the east of Galean and most likely it will become disorganized because of another center of that broad uh, monsoon, monsoon depression uh, that will uh, form to the west of the zone so they could there could be two vertices they, uh, based on uh, the Friday forecast of the European model and on Saturday uh, it could merge into a single uh, vortex over uh, the vicinity of northern Cagayan. So it's still early to tell, but uh, we expect the southwest monsoon to uh, kick in beginning uh, this coming uh, weekend, okay, Friday, Saturday. So watch out for heavy rainfall, winds of 30 to 60 kph across Mimoropa and uh, Visayas and also across the western sections of the Bicol region. So we will end this forecast until Saturday. So uh, if you have uh, things to do like uh, fixing the roof, uh, repainting your roof or anything uh, outside of the house, uh, it, it <coughs> it's better to postpone it first because of this impending broad low pressure area. Okay, when it comes to the rainfall forecast, so uh, this afternoon, 2 p.m., we expect rainfall or thunderstorms across Bicol region. Uh, look at this. These are strong localized thunderstorms brought about by the monsoon trough and also across Visayas. And the LPA is somewhere here. And uh, Wednesday afternoon, again, the uh, rainfall will now be more widespread all across the zone, becoming more intense of a Bicol region, and also uh, Mindoro, Visayas, and Bindanao, as the LPA is somewhere here along the northern coastal waters of Bicol region. And on Thursday afternoon, that LPA will re reorient to the east of Cagayan, and we expect more thunderstorms to prevail across northern and central Luzon and also over the Bicol region, some areas, and uh, some areas of the Visayas as well, as the southwest monsoon will uh, start to kick in. So there will be some winds of 30 to 60 kph by Thursday, Friday. You can clearly see here on Friday, 
uh, the rainfall will be more concentrated along the western sections of Visayas and uh, Occidental Mindoro. This is now the typical monsoon, while uh, over Bicol region it will be much uh, of a less uh, lesser. Okay. While over the Bicol region it's much lesser compared to. Uh, while over the Bicol region it's. Um, uh, while over the Bicol region is a little bit. Uh, the rainfall over the Bicol, while over the Bicol region and eastern Visayas, the rainfall will lessen based on the Friday forecast, as the uh, southwest monsoon will start to be enhanced by the LPA, which is likely to be here along the east of northern Cagayan and Metro Manila will also be expecting rainfall for it about by the enhanced southwest monsoon beginning Thursday, Friday, and also to. Saturday, you can clearly see here, okay, the effects of the southwest monsoon. So, after two to three weeks of non uh, southwest monsoon occurrence, so we expect the return of this uh, frequent rainfall during this time of the year. So, uh, I'm sure the uh, farmers who are praying for rainfall across their farmlands will be given by mother nature uh, this week until uh, likely uh, through early uh, next week because of a possible back-to-back -back, uh, weather systems that could enhance this monsoon okay so to uh, wrap up here is now the three-day rainfall accumulation forecast yeah as you can see wide area of the Visayas, Mindanao, Bicol region and eastern Luzon including northern Luzon will be affected by this localized uh, by these uh, thunderstorms generated by the uh, southwest monsoon and the uh, approaching low pressure area 95w so there you go that's the latest this is mike padua saying good night to all uh, good morning and uh, stay safe always thank you so much for watching our channel